Hello everyone, I'm Reza from Visual Components. In this tutorial we will learn together how to use tools in process modeling. For this purpose I will be using the current open layout. To create such layouts please go to our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com and then to the course Introduction to Process Modeling. There we have a few lessons that will teach you some basics on how to create such layouts. So let's get to it. First I would go to process transport controllers because I need a transport controller for Mrs. Anna. Mrs. Anna today will be helping us to carry some parts around. Let's go to process tab and then activate processes. To have a look what do we have. Two feeder process. These are the spots that we will pick up the parts and then the destinations are these manual processes. And we have one product called VC underline can. What I'm going to do now is to just go to click on feeder label, then choose the human as a transporter and then click on manual processes and press play. So human did not start going around. Why? Because if I click on the transport controller, I need to connect the pathways, the human as a resource, the idle locations, and the tools. So now everything is basically in the background connected to our transport controller. How do I know it? Because if I go back to Home tab and click on Interfaces, then you see that Mrs. Anna is connected. Quite many pathways are connected. You see the green points are the connected components and then charging locations are connected and also we have two tools that are connected using interfaces. So now if I press play, Mrs. Anna starts to run toward our feeders. The simulation speed was quite high. But now, okay, she's carrying these huge cans and then taking them to the work processes. It seems she's been to gym quite a lot. But maybe that's not so realistic and she would need a pallet jack for this purpose. So what I'm going to do is go back to flows. And then I'm going to click on this transition icon between feeder and manual process in the process flow editor panel. So all of the links are chosen. And then there is a property called tool. At the moment it's on the choice use current which means that it will keep the existing tool if there was anything that she was using from the previous task and then the tool name so it will bring us a property name called tool name so we can write the pallet jack name over here and it will go for it and then product property so it will go to check the property under the products you can see over here, VC underline can, there is no product property available. But if it's available, we will be basically using that. And then no tool. First, I would go to tool name and I'm going to choose this orange pallet jack. I've named it pallet jack resource tool orange. So I'm going to copy this and then use the name here under the tool name property. Press enter, press play. So Mrs. Anna, she doesn't have to anymore carry those cans, but she can benefit this tool. At this step, what I would do is to utilize the blue pallet jack for a specific process. Let's copy this name. First, I'm going to create a new property under the VC underline can calling it my tool and the type is string let's paste the name of the pallet jack without that zero of course over here so now if I for example think of this this manual process these two links are going there so instead of the orange tool I'm gonna choose the product property and then say 
the property name is my tool press enter so this means that it will go over here and read the value of this my tool property which is the blue palette jack so mrs anna basically is going to do those two links using the blue palette jack beautiful well we don't know yet if it's beautiful but we have to little bit speed up maybe so yes now i can see that she actually picked the blue palette jack for taking the can over there the gym days are over great okay no of course not great i mean you guys have to do some physical activity as well me too okay this concludes what i wanted to show you please go around and play with the tools and in case you have any questions contact us on forum check more academy videos and bye for now